Hey, welcome back. We are in the Ten Commandments. We're in Exodus 20 and today verse 15, another one of the Ten Commandments. And here's what it says. You shall not steal. Just a couple of words in the Hebrew, even just a couple of words in the English. You shall not steal. Now here it's kind of interesting. Of course, we think of these on an individual basis, a personal basis. I shouldn't steal. Person A shouldn't steal from person B. But also stealing involves governments and corporate bodies and larger groups uh, and any kind of justification also for stealing. So uh, you've got a case where, you know, if, if there is an indigenous people and you made a treaty with them and then you find uranium on their land or oil on their land or gold on their land or silver or some other valuable thing, uh, suddenly then you, uh, there's groups that will go in and destroy, uh, just give up the agreement that was made and just transgress and run over those people to take their resources or get them at some ext extremely cheap rate. That also is a violation of God's Ten Commandment rule of stealing. Uh, if you do a war of conquest, you're going over to Middle East somewhere and you want to take over a country so you can have cheaper oil. This is also a violation of the Ten Commandments here. This is a violation of God's. God's will is not that you will take something from somebody that they have the right to that you don't have the right to. So this, this on the broader scale, there's a lot of theft going on. And we could even talk about um, the way monetary policy is done in a country and how theft happens uh, through reducing the value of the individual dollars unit of currency, but we're, we're not really trying to go there. But right here, I do think it's important to notice that right in here with these other rules uh, is, the, is a essential, central, universal, primeval rule, you shall not steal. The Bible supports the idea of private property. And so here it is, you know, you work for it and you should be able to keep it. There's something kind of interesting called the universal destination of goods. This is a Roman Catholic teaching, certainly not a teaching of my church. But the idea is that everything's been given to us for the greater good of others. And so, yes, you have private property, but it can be taken for other uses uh, for the greater good or the common good. And of course, lots of things can be uh, justified that way. And I think that's a way to get in there and actually steal in a very malfeasance kind of way. So, yeah, I don't believe in that. Uh, that's, by the way, a big thing right now with these big changes they want to make in our world, claiming, you know, that we're all in one big thing together and the climate is being uh, wiped out by human things. And so we're going to make rules and make sure that we all fix this for the common good. I want to tell you, watch this commandment. This commandment is one that is uh, basically going to be a case where we have a global government type situation, which is going to be stealing from people right and left. So uh, that's what is envisioned is something that is actually utterly against God's will. So practice in your own life. Practice not stealing from others. Uh, don't try to take something that you do not deserve that's not yours. And on the broader scale, hopefully we won't support actions by other bodies, uh, businesses, corporate things, governments that are also churches that want to steal uh, from other people. So God's character says, and this is, a, you know, the Ten Commandments is a transcript of his character. These principles are applications of what God is like, the pure, unselfish being of God. The, in these rules, what we have is ways that we are to echo him. We are made in his image, so these would be our rules. These are things that should resonate with us. Jesus said, treat others as you want to be treated, right? Well, do you want somebody to steal from you? Well, of course not. So here we have just that essence continuing the essence of God's character, and then in humanity, uh, we shall be holy as he is holy. So we would practice not stealing. All right, hope that's helpful today. We'll see you tomorrow morning.